How's it everybody? My name is Philip. Today we're going through airport security. Welcome back to Travel Talk, the channel we talk everything travel and I'll answer all your questions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss out on any more travel tips and advice coming in future videos. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about getting through airport security and my tips and advice to you to make it a little bit more easier, quicker and less stressful. Also, watch until the end of the video where I'll tell you about two must-have items that I use all the time and that I have and travel with that makes clearing the security a lot easier. So with that said, let's get into it. So first up, and I can't stress this enough, is get to the airport on time. This might sound quite logical to you, but it is important that you make enough time available for your travel to the airport, going through the check-in, going through security, and get to your boarding gate on time. Airlines do not care about the traffic, that you got stuck in traffic, that the weather was bad, anything. Plan your route and make sure you have enough time. And I tell you, you'd much rather want to sit at the airport and wait than sitting in traffic, panicking you're gonna miss your flight. Also, even before you leave the house, what you can do to save time is do online check-in. You can do it over the internet, you can pick your seat, you can get everything done. All you have to do if you have a check-in bag, so you have to check your bag in. If you travel with just carry-on, and you do your online check-in at home, you'll save a lot more time. As if you have a transfer, make sure you check your boarding gate when you completed your first flight. When you do your initial check-in, two flights, because there's a transfer, you might get both boarding passes and they'll state the gate of departure on the boarding pass. Anything can happen while you're in the air. While you're flying and in transit, on the ground, a boarding gate can change, a flight can be delayed. So when you land, go to the information boards, they are everywhere, and have a look and exactly where's your boarding gate and if it's still the same. Also, some airports don't make announcements or sometimes if you're in a lounge or in a noisy area, you won't hear the announcement. So it is your responsibility to be at the gate, at the correct gate, the correct time. So make sure, check the boards, check your departure time and your boarding gate. Nothing more annoying than missing a flight when it could have been avoided. So, okay, let's get to the security check. First rule you should know, is no liquids allowed in your carry-on luggage that's in a container more than 100 milliliters. What they have is these little plastic bags just before you get through security and you have to have all your liquids, inhalers also sometimes, aerosols, in this bag you're only allowed one bag per traveler and you can't have the bag open, things falling out of it. Less than 100 milliliter per bottle, and no more than these bags for. Don't forget, they'll confiscate it, they'll make you throw away whatever it is. They don't care about the expensive bottle of wine you just bought. If it's not checked in and it's over 100 milliliters, it goes in the bin. Then the next best thing that'll save you time going through security is what you're actually wearing while you're traveling. You don't want to wear big, clumpy, high lace-up boots. They would probably want you to put that through the metal detector also. It's going to waste time unlacing, going through. It's better to wear slip-on shoes, comfortable shoes, I usually travel just with a pair of walking shoes. They're synthetic, they're lightweight, easy to take on and off. And most of the time, I don't even need to take them off. And also, they will also make you take your coat or jacket off. So what I always do, my watch, my wallet, 
things like that if i either put it in my carry-on luggage in the bag or i'll put it before i go to security into the pockets take it off put it on the tray and it goes through it saves a lot of time standing there taking things out your pocket taking your watch off this bracelet is silver it'll trigger the metal detector i always take that off either put it in my coat pocket my carry-on bag and another thing when it comes to clothing is tops hoodie tops jumpers jerseys those type of things they might want you to take that off too it'll be a lot easier if you have something with a zip or buttons than trying to pull it over your head over the top get stuck in it it's quite a comedy act but people behind you might get a bit annoyed for the delay and also always be friendly and courteous to the ground staff they can make either your life a lot easier or a lot more difficult and it all depends on your attitude towards them treat them with respect also people at the counters for some reason maybe if you do miss your flight or there's a delay in the flight it is not the person behind the counter's fault don't take it out on them but that person will be willing to help you if you're kind friendly respectful towards them and not take it out on them right so the two things i always travel with me and have with me is one a water bottle and i'll have a link below so you can have a look at some bottles if you want to get one yourself if it's empty it's lightweight you can have it in your carry-on and if you have water left and you get to the security you can either drink it still have the bottle or you can just tip out the water but when you have your water bottle with you you fold it up you sort it you're ready to go then the other thing i recommend and has saved me quite a bit of time and a lot of effort is these belts are really good the plastic buckle will not trigger off any metal detector it keeps your trousers where it should be kept and it's as if you use any other good belt i highly recommend if you travel a lot through airports that you get this also don't forget to have a look at the book below on how it teaches you to get paid to travel click on the link have a look at it give it to someone as a gift read it yourself highly recommend it getting paid to travel can't beat it so until we speak again happy travels take it easy talk to you soon <laughs>